absolutely devastated uh, here, just total destruction. No sewer, water, electric, gas, um, obviously phone and cable. Uh, we lost 22 foot high uh, sand dunes here. And uh, the sand, as you can see, has moved off the dune and into the roads and into people's backyards. Uh, we have a monumental task here, uh, moving everything uh, back onto the beach. Uh, so we get the first responders with the electric company and the gas company down here. We have over 300 gas leaks down here in the southern end, and uh, that's what all these uh, trucks are doing. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to stop the, uh, the gas leaks so we can get the electric. As it appears right now, there will be no uh, re-entry onto Long Beach Island uh, until at least Wednesday of next week. I ask everybody to, uh, you know, just call in, uh, look at our website. Uh, we have a reverse 911 for all of our um, residents here who signed up. And, uh, you know, let's proceed that way. Please, if you have a home on Long Beach Island, do not call 911 to see how your house is. We will not respond. We're still in the recovery mode, as you can all see here. And uh, we're trying to make life safe, and we don't want to jeopardize the hundreds of people who are right now trying to get this island back into shape. So please um, direct your, um, your inquiries to our website, and thank you very much. The biggest threat right now is another northeaster, another storm. Uh, we have just tasked about 20 bulldozers to start pushing the berm back up on the beach to keep the, uh, the next high tides out. Uh, so everything that we've recovered to date uh, will remain recovered. Uh, and that's the biggest threat right now. sure there's not a one of them who regretted the, the decision to do that. Uh, the next time we have a mandatory evacuation, we're, we're going to make it a mandatory evacuation. Uh, it was mandatory, but some people just chose It was to mandatory, stay. and unfortunately the last couple mandatory evacuations uh, resulted in non-events like Irene. And, right. you know, so everybody got very complacent and very brave. And, uh, there's nobody now that I know of who stayed and thought it was a good decision.